Many people come to Lancashire each year to follow the famous Pendle Witches Trail. There's a long trail up to Lancaster Castle. There's a short trail all the way around Pendle, concentrating on the witches. And there's a walking trail, the Witches Walking Trail, which we call Walking with Witches. Tour guide Simon Entwistle has more connections than most to the Pendle Witches. Now that nearly everyone in the town of Cliver boasts that they're related to us, uh, to Alice Nutter. In the case of my mother, she told me that her grandfather was actually a Nutter. So, as far as I know, I could actually be connected to the famous Pendle Witch, Alice Nutter. But there again, so is half of Cliver. Hill way back in 1612, stood a tower called Malkin Tower. And in that tower lived an elderly woman called <coughs> Demdike, her daughter Elizabeth Southern, and her children, the Devised Children. Not too far from there is a place called New Church in Pendle, where a lady called Bessie Chattox lived, and her daughter, Anne Redfern. It's said that Chattox and Demdike were not the best of friends, as they both got involved in the odd potion, etc. But our story really starts way back in April 1612, when young Alison Devise, granddaughter of Demdike, went for a walk along the foothills of Pendle, and there she saw a traveller from Halifax called John Law. John Law was really, you could say, a salesman for that period of time. Alison was starving. Please, sir, please, sir, just, just a few pence, sir. Be on your way, shouted John Law. All of a sudden, a huge black dog came from nowhere, and this black dog could talk. Alison, shall I lame him for you? Yes, please. All of a sudden, John Law fell off the horse and was paralysed down one side. In the case of Demdike, God bless her, she was over 80 years of age, and this poor woman must have been shattered, absolutely shattered. She died before her trial took place, but she did admit to getting out of bed in the early hours of the morning and going digging in the local cemeteries. <laughs> in the case of uh, young Alison Devise, well, she was found guilty of paralysing uh, John Law, the uh, peddler from Halifax. In the case of uh, Bessie Chattox, she was found guilty of turning milk blue, murdering cattle, but also murdering Richard Baldwin and Richard Nutter. They were all hung on the 20th of August 1612 in front of massive crowds in Lancaster, and then their bodies burnt. A witch's body apparently has to be burnt to cast away all the evil. When the snows come to Pendle Hill, the last piece of snow to melt is always in the perfect shape of a white witch. It's happened time and time again, year after year. Sometimes on the Clitheroe side, the Wally side, the Cone side, the Burnley side, the Blackburn side. But it happens every single year. 